Hi everyone, it is June 15, 2014. Well, okay, you know this, Obama opens borders to Mexican gang members. And just let me read a couple of headlines. Okay, so I posted the video on Obama administration forbids lawmakers from taking photos of facilities, Border Patrol threatened with criminal charges for speaking to reporters, I didn't post on this, agents changing diapers, heating baby formula for surge of children. Obama actually said, our future rests on dreamers. Wow. Well, our future has certainly rested on dreamers for a very, very long time. And a lot of Americans are still dreaming. You sure do wish that they would wake up sometime. But it's not our future. It's his future. Obama's future that he's talking about. And yes, we're all going to face a future. Our future is going to be oh so bleak and dark and really, really not what we want to be living. But all of this is orchestrated by Obama because it's the globalists' future. It's the communists' future. It's the socialists' future. It's the left, liberal, progressives' future. Not the future that we want. Honduran president, misinformation. Well, I'll fill that in with the article that I'm just about to read. More than 35,000 illegals entering Texas each month. 35,000 illegals entering Texas each month. So let me get to this article, paper, orchestrated campaign to create chaos. An orchestrated immigration wave at the Texas border? Not so paranoid to think so. As an unprecedented wave of undocumented children from Central America spills over our Texas border, a veteran lawmen's organization has declared it an organized event if so, who benefits? To date, there hasn't been a word from the White House or its agencies urging families in Honduras, Guatemala, or El Salvador not to send their children alone through Mexico's merciless badlands infested with cartel criminals to reach the U.S. There's some Twitter activity and little less. Little else, sorry. And, well, it's not so bad. I mean, it's bad, but... It's the Mexican cartels that are helping these children cross Mexico. Okay, but the newspapers and television stations throughout Central America are falsely reporting that amnesty will be theirs if they can just make it through the Mexican obstacle course and that the time to do so is now. It doesn't matter that these children are likely to succumb to desert heat, be snatched by vicious human traffickers, forced into prostitution, slavery, or the drug trade, or simply murdered, as has already happened to thousands as the White Crosses at the border can attest. Not since the radio broadcast that triggered Rwanda's Tutsi massacres in 1994 has such false information been spread unchecked by authorities who might be able, with just their words, to make a difference. U.S. Embassy websites still have no warnings to Central Americans about not sending children north, and until recently, the U.S. Embassy in Guatemala's website promptly, prominently featured links to President Obama's campaign website with his speech declaring to Guatemalans that our immigration system is broken. So no wonder the National Association of Former Border Patrol Officers, after 50,000 apprehensions of border crosses in South Texas, declared this week that certainly we are not gullible enough to believe that thousands of unaccompanied minor Central American children came to America without the encouragement, aid, and assistance of the United States government. Besides the valuable observations of veteran lawmen who know the patterns of the border and can spot anom anomalies, the evidence that the flood of illegals is an orchestrated event and not spontaneous is piling up. Not long ago, Senator Jeff Sessions of Alabama, 
a foe of illegal immigration, stated that based on evidence he'd seen and conversation he had with lawmen, conversations he had with lawmen, there appeared to be an ongoing political campaign to destroy law enforcement at the border, something the former border agents called an effort to create a failed state on the border. If so, it's a page straight out of the Cloward Piven theory. President Obama was so influenced by as a community organizer and at Columbia, if he was even at Columbia. Meanwhile, Vice President Joe Biden, who frequently lets the truth slip out beyond the spin, stated this week that America needs a, quote, constant inflow of immigrants, supporting the argument that the White House is seeking a vast pool of illegal immigrants to ensure a long-term stream of Democrat voters. The strategy is to create chaos, not just to punish political opponents such as Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, whose state is becoming a dumping ground for Obama's catch and release policy. The idea of inflicting chaos for political purposes has been White House border policy for some time based on its fast and furious scandal in which thousands of U.S. weapons were allowed to reach Mexico's cartels. It was done to create chaos in Mexico and the U.S. and as a result to whip up public, public support for gun control. Such a strategy requires political loyalists, not lawmen dedicated to the, first, to the law first. In 2009, President Obama so badly wanted La Raza board director Mary Aponte as U.S. Ambassador to El Salvador that he installed her in the job in a recess appointment. That conflict of interest between U.S. immigration law and La Raza, a group that strongly opposes U.S. immigration law, didn't concern Obama. Indeed, it seemed that was why Aponte appealed to him, and he appointed her despite her anti-American past, including a relationship with an agent of Cuba's secret intelligence service, the DGI. That scooped her nomination as ambassador to the Dominican Republic in 1998. There will be many who dismiss concerns about an orchestrated campaign, but the signs are everywhere, and there's just one beneficiary in this misery on the border, the Obama White House. For any of you who don't know what the Cloward Piven plan is, Cloward Piven devised a plan to destroy capitalism and implement socialism in the United States. And the strategy, simply put, was to flood the welfare system to the point of collapsing the economy. And we're in the midst of it. It's happening. So for any of you who think that I might be reading this from some conspiracy theorist website, no. It's Investors.com, which is powered by Investors Business Daily. Please circulate this information. You do not have to circulate my video, but please circulate the links. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great Sunday.